Hello, I'm Roger Haney from your Parks and Recreation Department, and we're here to give you a quick video tour of our Brushy Creek and Greater Lake Creek Trail systems right here in Round Rock, Texas. I'm Mary Zambrano, also from your Parks and Recreation Department. If you like to walk or ride, our current and new trail system is a beautiful way to get your workout in, have a family outing, and even picnic at our various pavilions and tables along the trail. At the present time, Round Rock has more than 15 miles of completed hike and bike trails for your enjoyment, with more to come as our Parks Development Department is currently in design on several new projects. Right now, we're at our newly revitalized Freeman Park right here, which is the trailhead for our Brushy Creek Trail system. We're going to take you on a quick tour and show you all the amenities the Brushy Creek Trail has to offer. Well, that concludes our fast speed video of our Brushy Creek Trail East system, but I wanted to stop here and show you this bridge behind me. Believe it or not, this is one of the largest pedestrian bridges ever installed in Round Rock's history. They literally had to bring it in in four pieces on four different cranes, and they basically connected it in midair. Just some trivia you might like to know. A lot of people think the Brushy Creek Trail ends at Kenny Fort Boulevard, but it doesn't. As soon as you reach Kenny Fort, make a ride, head down our walkway, and continue on under the road. Well, we just successfully passed under Kenny Fort Boulevard and continued on the Brushy Creek Trail system, but I wanted to stop and show you these big columns behind me. These columns actually housed the Katy Railroad system, it was actually the columns that held the bridges up, and they were one of the biggest distributors of goods here in our local area. So we've continued down the Brushy Creek Trail, and we're here at our Rab House Rental Facility in our popular Play for All Abilities Park. A lot of people think the trail ends at A.W. Grimes, but I'm gonna show you how to continue on down the trail. We've arrived at A.W. Grimes. We're gonna continue down the trail using the commuter underpass. So we headed on down A.W. Grimes Boulevard and you'll end up at another trailhead, which you can see behind me. If you go through these columns, you'll actually end up at our Lake Creek Park. If you keep going down A.W. Grimes Boulevard and go through the next set of double columns, You'll hit our Greater Lake Creek Trail system, and that will take you directly to the Clay Madsen Recreation Center. As Roger said, I continued down A.W. Grimes and ended up at the Clay Madsen Recreation Center, and directly behind me is the Shayla Dames Skate Park. So we head down the Lake Creek Trail, and we end up at our newly revitalized Lake Creek Park. And check it out, we have brand new play skates that have been installed, we have various pavilions, we have a bocce ball court, and we even have restrooms now all here for your enjoyment. Well, there you have it. You've just successfully traveled in really quick time through our Greater Lake Creek and Brushy Creek trail systems. But we're just getting started. Our parks development team is working hard to link the trail segments together to provide more connectivity for our residents. For more information about our current trails or upcoming trails, visit us online at roundrocktexas.gov trails. You can also check out all of our social media channels on Facebook and also check out our YouTube channel as we're going to be featuring lots of different trail tours so you can get familiar with everything we offer right here in the city of Round Rock.